hello 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 welcome to my channel i know i have been m.i.a like horribly m.i.a um these last few weeks um <laughs> because this pregnancy has been kicking my tush let me just say my nose looks really my nose looks swollen but then again sometimes it doesn't i just have a fat nose anywho I wanted to come to you guys really quickly and do a um when was the last one I did update I think I did 12 weeks so 12 to 14 week update um let's just start with 12 weeks uh 12 weeks was seeming kind of like cool you know I feel like I was starting to get out of that first trimester funk and then uh, both of my boys came down with the flu um, by 13 weeks, I lost my appetite completely, um, didn't want to eat, didn't have a headache to eat, like, you know, a, a hunger headache, um, if I didn't eat anything, uh, excuse me, um, never had a fever, never had any other of the symptoms of having the flu, um, but just didn't have any type of appetite and i'm sorry i'm doing stuff for our gender reveal so if you see me looking down or crafting that's my book one second sorry i am still coughing up mucus driving me nuts um but yeah um 13 weeks like i said i didn't really have an appetite um when i say no appetite like i was forcing myself to eat because I didn't have the urge for anything, wasn't craving anything, didn't want anything really. Um, that lasted for like a week, I want to say kind of like a week and a half. Um, I finally started getting that appetite back, finally started getting nauseous again. Uh, but when I started getting nauseous again, I was like super excited because I was like, yay. You know, I'm getting nauseous again. That means my appetite is starting to come back. Yeah, and when I say it came back full force, let's just say Saturday all day I was super nauseous. I mean, drinking water, I felt nauseous. Eating food, I had anything, I felt nauseous. Um, Sunday, I ate my cereal like normal in the morning. Felt nauseous. Um, went to church left church went to go get food was super nauseous after church um got our food was about to eat our food like taking bites of my food baby said eh, eh, ain't having it and puked up my life um after that i ate because i needed to eat something i lay down took a nap um, we like our normal Sunday naps, took a nap and woke up feeling so nauseous again. Um, my husband reheated the food that I ate from lunch just to eat for dinner. Nope. Soon as I started taking a couple bites of it, barfed that up. Um, Monday morning, which was yesterday, I woke up, I had some oatmeal. I ate half a bowl of oatmeal. I had um, some Chick-fil-A. And I kind of half ate that. Then I had... I cooked dinner last night and I ate half of that. Granted, our lights went out. But I ate half of that and felt nauseous. And then I felt nauseous when I was laying in bed. So I was like, well, I need to eat something... At least try to put this in my stomach. So I got some fruit because I was craving some mangoes and stuff. And let me tell you, cutting mangoes is not easy. But cutting mangoes in the dark, uh, not so fun when you're cutting by candlelight. Um, but had some mangoes and felt nauseous all last night. Woke up this morning, felt nauseous. Um, had an appointment this morning. Baby's doing awesome. And I'll mention that later on the vlog. Or, yeah um, but the baby's doing awesome I went to my appointment this morning I dropped my boys off at my grandmother's house 
I went to my appointment. I really didn't have like an appetite, but I was still I was still feeling nauseous this morning. So I went to Starbucks and got a coffee and um and I'm eating cake. Don't judge. Um I got a coffee and then got a bagel. I ate half of one half. You know how they take a bagel and they slice it? So I ate one fourth <laughs> of a bagel this morning and then my appointment I had my appointment I gave blood and then I went to Chipotle and I got a Chipotle bowl I pretty much I guess not I didn't smash it but I ate half of the Chipotle bowl and I got double chicken and double steak so it was a big Chipotle bowl and I ate half of that and then I ate dinner tonight um which I didn't like scarf down or whatever but I'm really shocked when I was at my appointment. She told me I gained three pounds since my last appointment, which was four weeks ago. I'm shocked. I didn't think I gained any weight just of how I've been feeling and not really been eating as much. But I guess that means the baby's just getting bigger. And this baby, by the way, is stubborn as hell. Every time we go to the doctor or, you know, I have, um, um, have an appointment and she goes to check the baby heartbeat, I'm always sitting there freaking out because she never finds the baby's heartbeat right away. Because the baby likes to move. Every time she puts the Doppler out. I was like, I don't know if the, my baby knows that the doctor is putting the Doppler on, on, on me. But like, she found the heartbeat. And then like, two minutes later, like, as soon as she put it on there, the baby was like, nope, it moved. So the baby's stubborn. Baby has a high heartbeat of 150. It was like high 50s, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, that means you're having a girl." <laughs> my son, the last one, when he was 13 weeks, his heartbeat was 154. So, not counting my chickens quite yet. But just with the nauseousness in itself, and feeling like I need to barf my life away every so often my heart's telling me it's a girl but then again i really don't know we do find out sorry um we do find out next friday on the 17th on saint Patrick's day which i'm really excited about because we're doing a gender reveal hence why i'm doing these little cards and i'll show you real quick what i'm doing um this will say girl and then I have boy and then I have or and quick side note I got these banners from Dollar Tree and I've had these letters forever so yeah but um yeah so that's what I'm doing but other than that like I'm not really like overly exhausted I have been the last couple days just because I feel like I have been puking like crazy I'm not even puking like crazy. I've just been nauseous and not feeling good. I don't know if I had like a 24 hour bug or if it was my pregnancy, I have no flipping idea. However, I'm doing good though. I do wanna show you the baby bump, but my boobs are out. And another thing, my boobs are getting like so, 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 so big. They're getting huge. I feel like my nose some days are like it's like really swollen and then some days it doesn't look swollen so I have no flipping idea what this baby could be but um yeah uh, I probably won't do another update until after we find out um because I'm pretty sure I'll have some clothes and stuff by then or some type of Something to show you guys what I'm having. Kind of nose looks huge. Um, and my hair is like really dry. But um, besides that, everything's going good. Ah, I guess I have gained three pounds since my last appointment. Excuse me, the baby's heartbeat is 155 was the last time I went today. 
Um, and let me show you the bump. Let me cover my tie ties because they big they out. So this is so this is like a side bump. Granted, this to know I've eaten dinner. But all this is hard and baby. And this is from the front. Mm, 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 mm. And then that's from right the other side. Like, it looks, it looks a lot more massive than what it really is. But, um, but, um, that's because I've eaten dinner and I haven't took a good poo today. <laughs> Sorry, I know this TMI. But when you don't take a good poo, you get a bigger stomach. But yeah, that is it. I'm about to do a Dollar Tree haul real quick. I got some stuff for my kids. Easter baskets and um, yeah I will talk to you guys later again thank you for being my family and joining my channel and I'm so sorry I've been MIA I will, I'm going to try to make more videos now that I'm starting to feel, feel better Buna, do not hold me to that because this baby can flip around in two seconds and I'll feel like shit again tomorrow but uh yeah you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later peace